We are back. We are back, I would say. Yeah, we are back. For round six, and this is the win and in round, since everyone with five and a half wins will make it into top yeah. eight after seven rounds. There are there are four one or four and draw? I think four one. There are four one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one guy is with Mardu Pyromancer <laughs> again. And we have the the wrong the wrong names again. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to switch it back. <laughs> um, and the other guy plays the UV control deck. Yeah. Yeah, cut it out. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> uh, just. So this is Matthias Obricht. Yeah, and the game just started with Thoughtseize. Revealing, double chase, negate, and path. There we are, guys, there we are. Okay, that's, double chase, path, that, that's and a, negate. That's a better blue-white hand than we saw last game. Being revealed to the Thoughtseize. Yes. <laughs> and both players are to. on seven cards, right? <sighs> Yeah, both are on seven cards. I'm looking. I want to look at the list to check if all the lists have the two Blood Moon because Blood Moon would be pretty insane at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's holding a Blood yeah, Moon. Two Blood Moons. He's holding one in yeah. hand. I think his hand is insane. Yeah, he has double thoughts. His Blood Moon. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So the blue white list is. One with five planeswalkers playing three chase to Teferi and two search for Ascomta, being kind of a planeswalker, I guess. And then there's the full four terminus and and instants and sorceries that deal with the board. I like those seven cards in this matchup. The mm -hmm. five planeswalker and two search yeah. for Ascomta. Yeah. But the Blood Moon will be devastating. At the moment it is insane. Yeah. And he has both two of them in here in his hand. Mm. I don't know if okay. I would do the same line. I think it makes sense now to just play Mardu, uh, Pyromancer, and check for the, the yeah the if it doesn't tap out, take out the negate. Mm -hmm. With if he has the land, take it out with. Or now he has whoa. Hmm. He has to play the the. The oh, he doesn't have the third land. No, I would play if he had the third land. I would play the. <laughs> the, the triggers new are rules. somehow <laughs> somehow <laughs> strangely announced. Yeah, yeah, but now it's it's kind of right now with the new rules of Magic. What are the new rules of Magic? Uh, if you put the triggers in the wrong order, but you declare them, mm -hmm. it's still fine. It still works. Yeah. Okay. Or better, the judges say, or better, it's not the new rules, but they will not say you cannot put yeah, it on the stack okay. if you announce it in the short yeah. order. I would so say. now it's chased plus two to prevent your opponent to draw land. Probably right. Yeah, it's not the best, but yeah, I think it's the move. It's it's very bad against Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly bad. Yeah, but. I don't feel like he has other other, other options. You could also just brainstorm and try to put a terminus oh, on top. Okay. Maybe he has if already. He draw, the yeah, terminus. if he drawn one. Wow! Imagine how how devastating Blood Moon would be if he no. did, if that was his play. Yeah. <laughs> if he puts terminus on top, and then <laughs> <laughs> then his opponent but goes it, it Blood Moon. It, it depends. Destroy you. <laughs> land or not land? Ouch! That's painful yeah yeah but still now at oh, least he can... i like those blood moons yeah no i don't like them as much as i used to why <laughs> because he also he only has two mana <laughs> oh no. they looked so great in the <laughs> opening hand but now no no i mean the picture is cool uh japanese now i'm yeah, I'm really interested on what how he takes. No, what he put on top with Chase if he really like hits something because of 
And it's also, my... also really hard to choose with uh, Toxas. Mm -hmm. Because if you think that he has the Terminus uh, mm -hmm. on the top of his deck, yeah. you should. I think taking out Jace is, yeah, is the, the, the right, right thing to do. Wow, and it's just so brutally mean that he hasn't he didn't hit his third land. Yeah, but Akia. It's an island and an order land, another card. Mm -hmm. And it, in his hand he's holding Teferi and yeah. two other cards. He has to keep the island. It's a, it would be punishing to take out uh, to not have Teferi because maybe you think about not mm. keeping the island. Okay, but now he has one of his lands open, so he will be able to fetch one of his colors. Yeah. Wow, but he misses again. <laughs> that's brutal. Uh, yeah, that's the bad part of the magic, as we said before. It's yeah, that's like the five, the five draws in a row that he whiffs now. Yeah. And the hand was so good. The hand was stacked. <laughs> wow, you had everything you needed to have. And then there's that. Yeah. <laughs> Now he can take the cryptic. Yeah, this. But he will see Teferi and he will not be happy about it. <laughs> but he has Dreadbore. Yeah, you're if right. He has no counter. Could be still a game. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Not an easy game, but still. I feel like he should have used the field end of turn. Ooh. He should have untapped the field. The field, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there goes Teferi. And now the colonnade <laughs> starts getting in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's that, that stage of the game. Blood Moon would still be devastating, but hey, there's also Pyromancer. <laughs> That's the, the moment where you don't want to be in the in his seat. Yeah. He has an, ah he has to push. Push for the colonnade. Yeah, he has to play it. And mm -hmm. Oh it's still a game if Yeah it is. Land? And it's it's even in It's incredible. It's even in Matthias favor now, I I feel like. It depends on, uh, on I don't Mark's think so, hand, just but also because he can use the two lands, I feel. Oh no, one of them, but still. Yeah, yeah it depends what he has in his hand, but lol. <laughs> Get back there. But what is he holding? I'm really curious to see. <laughs> still no land? The third uh, <laughs> reveler? <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh no, it's not the third. He okay. drew another okay, pyro. That's better. Ooh, whoa. That's aggressive. Okay, he's hoping for not many basics. Basics in his opponent's deck. But I but think he has enough. Yeah. Huh? Is he shuffling back the Blood Crypt in his deck? <laughs> he's shuffling back <laughs> the Blood Crypt he Should just destroyed. Save the judge. <laughs> oh. oh no, he's taking it, searching it. No. No, no, he's uh, no, no. I, yeah, but we, we, there's no judge nearby. We can call. But he can take all this. But I think it's better. I wouldn't. No, that's not our job. <laughs> it's not our job to fix the matches. I guess. Well, I think it's if you see something wrong, you should to call. If you are someone that is watching games, no, it's. Now it's too late. <laughs> it's uh, it's usually too late if we get one, but no, I think I think it was a moment to call. I think hmm? it's it it was wrong not to call the judge. Yeah, if but if I watch a game on a on a GP, mm -hmm. if I see something totally wrong, you have to call the judge. Yeah. This is the same. Yeah, but. no, it's not the same because it takes such a long time until a judge gets here and can fix. He the was thing. searching the deck. He. The judge said to us before that we had to call him if something happens. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. So that he, that's what he said. We asked him. I think if we see something like cheating, it's yeah, it's no, no, something no, no, complete. No, I was speaking of the thing of before with the mana with Tanya yeah, yeah. and so on. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a, oh, maybe they 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 see it. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they see it now. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a bit late now, but it can still somehow be fixed. Yeah, it, I think you take out. He didn't draw that land this way. It makes mm. no difference. If yeah. he drew that with a new rules, if he drew the blood gift, it could be a problem. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but as I said, no, if, I, if there's I, something I, we can fix, we should. But I, I agree. I, I totally agree. The the problem is you. Ha we, I think we had the time to. That's a little bit. Yeah, same. probably. Probably we should have a church here so we can. Yeah, but that's a little bit too complicated. But so we had someone. Sp speaking about Matthias Obricht, he will be your, your co-host yes, tomorrow. Yes, he will. So he will. <laughs> you can explain to him how Field of Ruin works. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow. I, I think he is a legacy player this way. Yeah. Field of Ruin is not. Is, uh, is there a wasteland that shuffles in your <laughs> your <laughs> land and legacy? <laughs> no, no, I. I, I, I <laughs> Try to remember a card like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, the destroy artifact or enchantment reclaim is it or no? It puts <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> is that a legacy card? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's a magic card. You're That's right. A magic okay. card. You're right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and now they discuss on how to fix it. I think it's. Uh, I am not to judge, but uh, how's the how's the lingering souls got to the graveyard? With uh, discarding it with a brutal ah. collected brutality. Ah, okay. Uh, he I went for brutality, discarding the uh, and uh, ah, making I a drain for two. I missed. It that makes one. sense. It was yep, a good. Yeah, it was a good play. Also, if now with the planes into play, I feel like it was quite better to have it in our hand mm. because it's it was another threat, and in this moment, it's mm. still. Would you still play the blood moon here? Or would you play for the Reveler? I think now the Blood Moon is a lot worse than before. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, they fixed it. They fixed the Blood Crypt thing. I think that was the only fix to do it. It was yeah. an easy fix. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he didn't do it. It's yeah, it's a very easy fix. Yeah. The rules changed a lot in the last years on this mm -hmm. type of stuff. Uh, yeah. They try and they improved, I feel, because they try to not give too much game loss on stupid stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And that is something good, yeah. I feel, for the game. I feel like playing the Blood Moon here is, is good just I, because I it agree. protects you from the cryptic. Celestial Colonnades. Also cryptic. Also cryptic, yeah. That's yeah, that's really true. important. And also from Snapcaster to some extensive. Yeah. But his opponent should have cracked the field. Ah, no, oh, no, there, he there cannot. Was no, there, there was is no... No, no, it's, it's really a good play because there was no, no way to crack the, the field. Well, he, maybe he should have cracked it targeting one of his own lands. No, he cannot. Just is it opponents. an opponent? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So if, if you <laughs> want, I can also explain you how it works. <laughs> yeah, do so. <laughs> do so. Uh, maybe both of you. <laughs> you, you. You can explain to all your co-hosts how Field of Ruin works. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's so good when you can read and other people can't, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Such an advantage. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a good card. Whoa. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Gas. that's pretty good. <laughs> Gas. Wow. And that's another game which we thought was over by turn five or something. When Matthias. Yeah, I, I, as I said, I feel the difference was the moment where you said, like, Tefri was kind of closer. Mm -hmm. Dread, uh, if he had no counter on the Dread uh, bar, yeah, like, okay. the game was still open. Yeah, that's true. But he, he bricked the next turns, right? He just attacked with a colonnade. Yeah, colonnade and, and anything and else. No, he was not playing anything else. Pout. I, th I think, and the big difference was also the moment where he had to put the Mardu Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. He had a put yeah. on the Mardu, oh, yeah. and that was the third land. That yeah. was a big difference. That was, yeah. That was indeed. Whoa. This list, pl he plays Zelus Persecution in the main deck. Mm. <laughs> Spicy that in a field with a lot of Mardu Pyromancer decks around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and right now it would present two damage. That's oh, <laughs> oh, <Sorry. laughs> really good. <laughs> yeah, no, but the pyromancer. It's interesting also in the sideboard 
this list plays for Leyline of the Void. Mm. Yeah. Which is a pretty good card in this expected meta game, I think. Yeah. We didn't see a lot of the decks we were expecting. The, the great Did you see some decks? some Vengevine decks in the list? Uh, no, actually, no? actually. I saw I didn't. zero. It's kind yeah. of strange. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't see any of them as well. Maybe they were really just in existence. Ooh. It is funny because it is good if he plays maybe uh, if he had the option to play the second Blood Moon at some point, mm -hmm. and it could be something good. But at the same time, there is the Ancient Sphere in the sideboard uh, in the main deck of the blue white deck. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so it was in the middle, <laughs> good and bad. But maybe it was bad because mm. the Tension Sphere was playable and uh, Cryptic Command is still not playable now. Yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Mark just has one more turn to draw that Terminus. The Terminus would be great, mm -hmm. but with him at four and the Inquisition plus Langering, also with the Terminus, it was really, really rough. Yeah. Wow, what a game. Yeah. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. It's it's the old. <laughs> I I cannot also also not say the flood uh, against uh, screw because it was Mark not. wasn't that flooded. No, it was not flooded. It is. But yeah, it's true. It, wa it was with the wrong cards in the uh, in the moment where mm -hmm. he had to put some pressure. He had the wrong cards to do whatever what what uh, was really important was really important to end the game. Uh, you know. And he has the car, the tools too. <laughs> and he has the tools too. This way, oh, and this list has a spells and error. That's also really interesting. <laughs> the the strange part in oh, the, is there a lot of lists that play just three serum vision? Do you think? No, I, I think four is the go-to option here. And four opt as well? Yeah, yeah four opt and three serum vision. Okay. I like the timely reinforcements in the main deck, mm -hmm. but it's not really good against him. Oh, it's fine. Fine, yeah. Yeah, it's fine ag against yeah, Pyro. Yeah, Pyro, but... I think he wants to bring in the Chlester Purge. Again, the Bane Slayer, maybe? Yeah, of course. Benslayer is good. Benslayer, Chester Purge, mm -hmm. Lyra, Negate. Matthias will bring in probably the Collective Brutality. Um, then there's a Liliana of the Last Hope. And th that will be it, I guess. Mata yeah, Matthias will bring uh, in. I think I would bring in, if he has lots, uh, random slots, I would bring in Kambal. It's not good. But probably it's better than like Terminate. Dre uh, Dreadbore yeah. is fine, but you have to keep Dreadbore, I think. Yeah, but, but, but it's I better than Terminate, and it's better than Fatal yeah. Push. And I would shave some Lightning Bolts, I guess, and the Celest Persecution. Yes, actually, there's lots of cards to take. Yeah, out. that's why I feel like uh, like Campbell is pretty decent at yeah. the end. Maybe you'll also bring in Hazard. Hazard feels pretty bad. Yeah, it's not. It's bad against Pat. It's bad against Terminus. It's ba uh, it's yeah. a four five. Yeah, I can see it as a card, but it's yeah, not it's, like it's probably yeah. It's the last card you play out of your hand, anyway. So maybe the, the yeah, but the path with the bad arm rebeler uh, rebeler in the deck. Is yeah, you're you're right. I don't know. It's hard to say it, but you know. <laughs> Sometimes you have to say it, you know. It happens in your life. Yeah, but, but social is not... And maybe the other cards are just not better than Hazard. It's not like Hazard is great <laughs> in this matchup, but no, so, no, someone I, very wise once told me that, you know. Yeah, that, so it that. could have been you. <laughs> so. What do you want... Would you take in all the three resting pieces? I think yes. Just between... It's... Just, yeah, it's really good, yeah. No question. Uh, Runet Hallo? Hello. Hello. Uh, I like Rune Hello. That, that was one of my pet cards. As yeah, well. it's also one of the, my cards. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't think that Rune Hello is especially good against this deck. No. <coughs> also Vendilink, because... Vendilinclick could be quite good. 
I would bring it's this really bad against the, the lingering. But for the rest, yeah, I agree. Yeah, true. So that Teferi has to do it all on, <laughs> on his <laughs> own. Yeah, <laughs> it's not much help. Go, Teferi! <laughs> <laughs> we are 1 0 for the Marlu deck. Yeah, update that, please. We can do that. 1 0. Perfect. Perfect. Brr. And there's the Pyro again. Pyro! <laughs> pyro after. <laughs> and, uh, and, and still just two lands. Yeah, but. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that the, the, the feeling when they play uh, rest, rest in peace, and you have re uh, Venom Revelor in your hand yeah. is so bad. <laughs> but, yeah, but if you can play Liliana, it's fine, I would say. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could not play Liliana, or he choose not to play Liliana because uh. it's interesting. I feel. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could play Li Liliana. Lily would have been great there as well, but... He wants to put more pressure? Mm -hmm. I think so. Like Bolt, draw two, discard two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. Own. It's it's a plan that... Would you would you play that up the end of turn? Just because Ooh. of Terminus? I think... Yeah. Uh, I think I wouldn't play it, actually. I think this game... He has nothing else right here. Yeah. Uh, he is... Yeah. He confirms your... Okay, that's a good draw. No. Yeah. Because he tried to... I feel like he got really punished now. Yeah. Because he tried to go for the tokens and try to just go as fast as possible. Yeah. And if he went for Liliana, it was a lot better, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that was a wrong play. That was just uh, a different line that didn't pay. It was a lot, not also not lucky from him. I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's still fine now. He can play the bolt, yeah, for sure. tokens, for and sure. then he has land. I would say with in this moment hand. he has he has an advantage. Mm -hmm. It fully depends on what his opponent has. Yeah. I mean, if Mario, Terminus comes, is yeah, he, the game is there, back. There's different cards that can really wreck you now. Yeah. But yeah, Terminus being the Duck. slam it, slam it. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but he has to find something soon, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're losing some life as well. That's true. What is he holding? Dreadbore and? No, I mean the uh, blue light like control player. I don't know, I see nothing. Okay. He is. So now. He is really <laughs> hiding things. Mm -hmm. oh. So now block one of the pyros. That's a fine play, I would say. Yeah. And I feel it's pretty good for him. Is it? He will, uh, yeah, he I will think I would, I would attack uh, anyways. But yeah, yeah, he has to. He has yeah, to. Yeah, but I still think it's pretty good. Yeah, but the Lily now is also quite good. Yeah, but he has two cards in his hand. This way, it's not like I was losing nothing. It was a Lily yeah. that went to four. Uh, but the yeah. But now he can empty his hand and. Oh, lingering. It's not that good with no, rest in peace. I agree. It's three tokens. It's yeah. not that bad. Yeah, that's true. And now this card, the uh, yeah, Titleist looting. Exactly. Yeah, come on, Terminus. Or Baneslayer. No Baneslayer would this, be horrible now. This one-shot cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Baneslayer against <laughs> Redbore and Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> Yeah, Teferi into removal would also work. For a turn. <laughs> yeah, it would Not work for much more. So I wondered, Lily. after this round, there will probably be one more. 
one yeah. more pairing that will play for top eight, right? There will be few attacks. Yeah, I think. And it is a win for Mardu Pyromancer. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> In the hands of Matthias. In the hands of Matthias Obrist, that is the co-host of Tomorrow, guys.